All right, good morning. Got all my uh, got all my wood cut like I showed the other day, and I'm gonna go ahead and build the cabinet above the kitchen sink window. And uh, Mama decided she didn't want a cabinet above that window, so we won't be building one there. She likes the idea of the, you know, the openness of the bedroom. Um, I don't think that it's, you know, losing that cabinet is going to be a big deal. We've got a lot of cabinetry, a lot of storage um, for stuff. And, uh, you know, we got our cat tower, we call it. And, uh, of course, there'll be some cabinets up there and over there. So, um, once we get the cabinets done that she wants to build or have, then we'll, uh, we'll take a look at everything and see if we need, you know, need anything else. So, all right, let me get that out there. I've got my, I've got my glue up table all set up. So, let me fill my glue up. I'll keep you updated. Got the city guys here mowing the empty lots. I've got one next door. I've got Patriot here and Tate's Day. And uh, I don't know if you can see it or not, but the empty lots get pretty high. Anyway, I've got this cabinet here just about done. This is above the sink cabinet. And uh, let me finish putting this. Uh, style in here in this corner and then it'll be ready to go up on the wall and we'll take a look at it then and uh, I'll be back okay I've got my above the sink cabinet built I'm getting ready to take it back down and sand it it's just a uh, I've just got some clamps on there I'll be back. Okay, my cabinet for above the sink is all done. It's dried overnight. Let the glue set up real good. And uh, getting ready to give it a final sanding. And then I'm going to hang it. That's a view from the front. And these right here or for my electronics cabinet that sticks out and they'll go around and go back. You'll see that when I trim that uh, electronics cabinet out. I've got my shelf material. So I'll be cutting those and uh, placing those in there. So, all right, let me get this sanded and I'll be back. Okay, gave my cabinet a final sanding. And now I'm getting ready to install it up there. And we're back. Okay, there's the cabinet. I've just got it dry fitted in there. And um, let me fasten it to the ceiling, to this cabinet, and over there, and life will be good. Be right back. Okay, there's my cabinets. pretty good All right. now I'm gonna figure out my trim inside and on the sides and then I'm gonna cut my shelf and we should be good to go All right. okay I've got the sides on this cabinet Nice tongue and groove. Okay. Inside the cam is finished. Looks good. Alright. I'm getting ready to do the sides on this cabinet. That should be nice. I just put the ceiling up in that one. Looks good.
Okay, just finished cutting up my uh, uh, length on my last shelf. And now I'm gonna cut the width to size. Zip that through there, and we'll be good. Okay, I've made my uh, made my shelf supports. Ah. And these uh, these get screwed into the side. I've countersunk my screws, and I've I've eased the edge of that so that when you're reaching in the cabinet, you don't catch that sharp corner. So that's a good thing. And, uh, let's see. Got that shelf is done. That shelf is done. I'm gonna put a back support back there and then one in the, one in the front right there. Just a couple small pieces, just uh, give it a little something, something. All right, let me hang these up and I'll be back. Uh, just so I can get them straight, I've cut these uh, these little pieces of, uh, of wood to, uh, and then I lay my I cleat across the top, and then they're both perfect the way I want them. As you can see. Okay, there they are. They're all done. Like I said, I'm gonna cut a, uh, cut a little piece to put back here and there, and <coughs> give a little strength. Um, you ever notice in your kitchen cabinets when they cup down, you know, warp down in the back, you know, humidity can cause that. And keep in mind, there'll be some humidity in here when we're not using it, possibly. And uh, those pieces of wood will, will keep it true, hopefully. All right, let me cut those and put those in, and I'll be back. All right, I got my little uh, cleats in the back there. Shelf is good and strong. I put one there and put one there in the back. And so there they are. And give that face a little quick sanding, all the work I've been doing on it. Let me do that and I'll be back. Okay, I'm gonna call these cabinets done. I mean, of course, I've got to make the doors, but what I've decided to do is just make doors, you know, all at the same time. You know, just cutting, screwing, gluing. I've got, I've got doors to make for just about everything. But I'm real pleased. I'm real pleased with how these, how these cabinets came out. Okay. Um, they're good and rugged. We'll be able to bounce up and down the highway. Um, that thing is screwed to a stud there. Screwed to a stud there. Stud there. Stud there, stud there. Stud there. Uh, stud there. And there, there, and there. I mean, you could hang a, you could hang, you could hang whatever you want off of these things and they're not going nowhere. Um, plus in the ceiling, and the stud there, and the stud there. Oh, I forgot to put one there. I'll get one put in there, no big deal. But trust me, the cabinet, I am yanking on that cabinet with everything I've got. It ain't going nowhere. So, put my under counter lights under there and under there and life will be good. All right. 
to clean up this mess. And then I'll figure out what my next project is. Okay. Did a little, well actually, I was playing. <laughs> and then I kept playing and kept playing, but uh, I did a little uh, first coat of uh, Stain. I gotta tell you, I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Put a coat on the face frames. Um, I haven't decided if I'm. Uh, well, I guess I am decided because some of the stain came through, so <laughs> I'm gonna be staining the inside of the cabinets too. But. Boy, they sure look good. They sure look good. I've still got to, I mean, like I said, I was playing, but I've got to, I'm going to cut all that in. <clears throat> because this is tongue and groove, it, every one of those grooves right there, you have to get the, get the sponge brush in there. I'm going to probably get a regular brush. I think that would work better. But, uh, <coughs> Once it dries real good, I'll come along and spray it busy. I put blue tape down, but you know, there's still just a little bit, which can't really get it with a rag. So that's it. If it dries, I'll just scrape it off. No big deal. No big deal. Yeah, so it pretty much wipes up. And then I'm gonna put a uh, put a nice bead of uh, caulk along the bottom here. So not so too much, but uh, hmm, it's working better than I thought it would. Okay. Yeah, it's coming up pretty good. Oh, I have to scrape it. Yeah. Like I said, I was just uh, just playing a little bit, but uh, I figured I had the sponge dirty, so I might as well keep going. So yeah, I like it a lot. Patriot. I uh, I did stain. This is actually what I started doing was just staining the uh, trim for the uh, the windows and the window sills. And um, I just kept going. <laughs> I just kept going. I gotta I gotta sand this piece of wood right here so I didn't uh, I didn't put much stain. I had a little drip there. No big deal. But, Still got to sand that. And, uh, but yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. Like I said the other day, I was hanging the tongue and groove and I just ran out of energy right there. So that's a good stopping point. Uh, tomorrow I'll probably finish this cabinet, the outside, tie it into, uh, tie it into this cabinet. And, uh, and that'll be good. That's what that looks like. Right there. Very nice. Okay. So, lots of stain in the dirt. Whoops. Lots of stain in the dirt. Oh. Theoretically, we could, you know, we could change stains if we want, but I think, oh, I don't know if I showed you the bathroom or not. Got the, got the light up in there. 
That's all ready to go. I'm gonna build a, uh, a medicine cabinet. We couldn't find one that we liked. So, and we decided not to put a cabinet here. So, um, all right, I'm just, I'm just talking. I'm gonna clean up now and call it a day. Um, but I just wanted you to see the, uh, see the stain. Looks really good. Alright, y'all have a good day. For those of you that might be new to the channel, there's my power plant. <laughs> um, 50 amp service, uh, city water, um, hose connection or gravity feed. Right now I'm just plugged into the house 20 amp, keep my batteries charged. Um, I've got a hundred gallon tank, fresh water there. And on the other side of that is a, another 100 gallon fresh water tank. Um, I've got the Power Max um, 100 amp um, converter. I've got that plugged into my, my kilowatt. I, key, I just keep that plugged in there. It's just interesting to see. I've got my uh, Progressive Dynamics um, uh, surge protection. I've got two 50 amp automatic transfer switches. Got my main uh, electric panel and my sub panel. There's my charge, charge controller for my solar, wind, and hydro. <clears throat> There's my dump load. There's my brake run switch for my uh, uh, <clears throat> wind turbine. This is my, this is my uh, 3,000 watt, 6,000 surge uh, inverter. Um, and that's my battery box. I've got, I've got 800 amp hour batteries in there, 12 volt. And you can see the fans aren't on because it's not hot enough. I've got it set to, I think 86 or 90 or something like that. Uh, put a couple outlets on the wall there. Uh, built these shelves. Um, fan. So that's real nice. Everything works out real well. Real nice. And so it's all good. Go ahead and close it up. It's around 2.30 on Thursday. I've been at this since, I don't know, 6. 6 this morning, so that's a pretty good day. Um, most times during the day when it's nice out, I just I put the screen door shut and, and leave the main door open, and I've got a fan in the back, and I usually open up a couple of windows. Um, so... I'm just doing a quick walkthrough, right? I usually do this every day and you guys get to come with me. <laughs> so that's what I got done today was the um, kitchen cabinets are done, except for the doors, of course. Got the shelves in there. I uh, did a little bit of staining. Um, and uh, I think it looks real nice. It's gonna come out real good, real good. And that's the end panel there, that's real nice. <coughs> okay, all right. We got the full shower in here. That's a 36 by 36. We got the Dometic porcelain toilet with a sprayer. And uh, 
some shelves there. We've got all our under cabinet shelves. I've got a I got see these shelves right here. I gotta I gotta build some for for that right there. There'll be two shelves there. Um, probably leave that one tall so we can put stuff in there. And then I'm gonna build some under the sink here. I'm gonna probably just put some shelves just so we can, you know, put things in. Um, but they'll have like, uh, like you could stick a, you know, I don't know, what am I trying to say? Like, let's say a, uh, a bottle of Raid or something, you know, a, a, a spray can of some sort, but they'll sit in the shelves so they don't move around. So I gotta build those. And uh, that'll be nice. I brought in my, uh, my seals. These will look real nice when I get them installed tomorrow. Kind of gives you an idea. Looks like. Yes, sir. I gotta pick up some polyurethane. I'm gonna put a nice, uh, nice coat of urethane on that because you figure it's right here by the sink. You know, inevitably stuff will get put up there. So. Alright, and these are the other two for these two windows. Alright, y'all have a good day and uh, I'll get this video uploaded here pretty soon. And uh, thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned. She's coming along. What you doing, buddy? Say hi. Say hello. <laughs> Alright, y'all have a good day.